My name is Riani. This is my dog, Chief. So hello, my name is Yamilka. I'm Riani's mom. And um, we're here to talk about what Williams Syndrome is and how service dogs help children. So Rayani is eight years old and she has Williams Syndrome. So Williams Syndrome affects Rayani with her heart. She um, has a very sick heart at times and doctors do their best to help her with her heart. Um, other than her heart, she's very shy with new surroundings and new people. And those are the, some troubles she has. Other than that, Rayani loves to play. She loves meeting new friends. Uh, but sometimes it's a little uh, tough for her. Um, I was sick a lot, and I had to go to the doctors a lot. He plays with me when the shot's coming, and then I can't feel the shot, and then I am better. He just knows when she's afraid and he will start playing with her so she can forget about the appointment. And she pets him and she rubs his ears and that's his favorite. Uh, but then she'll forget that she has to go to a doctor's appointments or whatever is hurting her at that time, she kind of forgets about it. Nudge. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. So Chief is a service dog and he's a working dog. He knows when he's gonna work because we put a vest on him. So we tell him, get ready. Chief, get dressed. So when he gets dressed, it means that no more time to play, it's time to work. Why do you love Chief? What do you love about him? He, he holds me when I'm sick and when I need to call my mom, he speaks. Um, there are times when Rayani can't speak and she will give him a command. So when he speaks to us, we know that something's not okay. So there was one time when Rayani was not feeling well at all. Um, I'm sick. I have a big, huge headache. My belly hurts. So she used the command for the first time um, and she told him to speak. And he doesn't bark at home unless it's an emergency. So he did and immediately we rushed into her room and she was laying there and she didn't have the strength to call for us. So right then and there, um, we knew that this was the best decision we had made. Before, Rayani didn't like much of reading now, Chief helps her because he will just lay there and she has to read to him. And he enjoys all the books. <laughs> he wakes me up. Um, I get dressed. I get snack. I brush my teeth and he follows me. And then I say, come, Chief. We put his leash on. We put his vest on. And then we bring him to the front, and then when he sees the bus, I say bye to him. Everybody comes and see, watch him, and they say, I want to pet him. They want him to do a command. We can't bring Chief to school because everybody will get distracted. I say goodbye to him, and everybody says, what, who's that dog? And I said, that's my dog. We play ball, um, find me, freeze dance. I take care of um, Rayani, and Rayani has to take care of Chief. So I feed Rayani, but Rayani has to feed Chief. That's her responsibility. So even if he helps her, she needs to take care of him. I brush him, I t brush his teeth, I help him with the commands. Sit down. Good boy. I take him for a walk and exercise him and train him. Here, you do this. Life before Chief came home was a little complicated, a little hard for us. 
Rayani wasn't able to express much of her feelings. Now Chief is around. Now we, we have more of smiles in the house. Now we have more talkative people around the house. Um, now we have a house full. And when I say full, it means more of smiles, more of family time. As long as she's happy, I'm happy. And, and uh, she makes her feel happy and it makes us feel happy as well. And I love Chief so much. <laughs>